going to fold my fabric into four pieces so this is one two three and four i'm going to measure my waist so here's going to be for the waist and um, the hip and the full length so i start by taking out two inches off because i'm going to be adding bands to the skirt so that it is well fitted around the waist so here i'm going to mark half an inch for my seam and i'm going to place two inches here and my hip is around here so because my hip line is 10 but because i'm going to take this off so my hip line is going to be around here nine and the full length of the skirt because i'm on a tall side not too tall <laughs> so it's going to be 19 is a mini skirt and this i'm going to use it for the hemming i don't want to overlock the end so i'm going to be folding in one inch first and then i will hold this down and i've tried this method and it really helps me that the hem relaxes so perfectly well the next thing so when you're folding the fabric into four make sure you fold it according to your size and measurements so this part here too is going to be for the front and this too is at for the back so your size you divide it into four so my waist is 38 inches and i will be dividing my waist into four 38 divided by four is nine okay yeah. here and on the hip side my hip is 44 so whatever your measurement gives you since you divided your fabric into four you divide it by four my hip is 44 into four it's 11 here and here you want to make it the same uh, when you come to the full length you minus two inches away from what the hip gives you so when i minus two which is 11 it's going to be nine now because we want here snatched so that when you put the slit in front it's going to be shown just like a pencil skirt so here you give it two inches so the back is taking one inch for sewing and one inch for your seam allowance and the front is taking the two inches one for sewing and one for the slits so you're going to see how what and what i'm doing at the end so i'm going to connect these lines here some people used to like make it sharp but your hip line if it's sharp is going to give you like something pointed around here so what you have to do is that you curve it our body is not straight so you curve this and take it down to here so this is where i will be cutting and when i come here because i'm going to hem it i will make it a bit straight so that when i fold that in is going to meet up to the length here and with that i'm going to cut off here and for my front part i'm going to slant that in from this side here because the front part of the tummy is like a slope so if i make it straight it's not going to fit well so on the front i'm going to mark off this but at the back i'm not going to do that so for my front just a little bit so I made sure that I lifted only the front part so I forgot to say that when you are marking you mark on the back part so that the shock doesn't show and will dirty your clothes or so you can even make the pattern on a paper and transfer that to your main fabric here I'm going to mark four inches away from here to this place and I'm going to extend it to be six so this is six here so here I'm going to mark half an inch off here so you place your tape like this this is half an inch and this is half an inch you can use your ruler 
and draw this line to connect it to the point here and repeat that here as well and here I will extend it down to this part and this is just for the front pattern so I can lift off the front aside and this is our back panel one and as you can see this is the front part so I will make sure that I'm drawing on the back part for my back panel I'm marking off one inch seam zip allowance so here I'll mark off four four inches and check so instead of making six I will do it five at the back so this is it five just like I did in the front so I mark off half here and half here and I'm going to extend it to this place and extend to this part as I have marked like this so this is what you have here now it's going to be same like we have in front so with this I'm going to place them together this is my easiest method of cutting so when I start to sew I can just flow through So with this now, I will just place them together so I place my zip so that means I will be sewing from here I will start here to sew it down and I will hold the dots And I'm going to sew on the line to this point and I'll repeat that here on the back as well so this is it for the back for the front so I'll make sure the line is straight so now I'm going to cut here open remember I was making four because I didn't iron so it turned out to be four and a half is four so now I'll leave it at four and a half because I was supposed to do my allowance so I'll cut here or open remember it's folded into two and here is not open like the back so when I open it up it's going to be like this And this is where I want the slit. So I'll place this one to this part here and pin it up. So when I pin it, I'm going to sew it half an inch down here and on this part. I will pin from here and remember we have got this is our actual measurement so we have two and a half inches for the seam sorry here what I'm going to do is that I'll leave it five inches open here so that the slit can show properly so I'm going to sew from here to here so after sewing I go ahead and I iron all the places I have sewn so this is the back and I'm ironing down the one inch zip allowance ironing all the dots so this is what my front looks like and I iron all the seams for my slit side what I will do is to fold it in like this
going to sew here like top stitching down to this place and I will top stitch down here as well so you can decide to add invisible but what I'm going to do is to add my open zip and after putting the zip this is what it is and my slits well sewn next thing is to add the front and back together and remember we haven't done the band so when I place my front to the back then I'm going to pin it by the side and I'm going to sew it half an inch down then after sewing the two sides together I'm just going to turn it and now we can add the band to make the skirt band so my waist is 38 inches and 38 by 2 is 19 so I'm going to add 1 inch seam sewing allowance for the both sides and then extra 1 inch for the skirt hook so I'm going to spread it out and put my gum stay stiffen the fabric make it more relaxed on the waist after ironing so this is the front part you iron in one inch half an inch sorry I'm going to sew half an inch here and then sew this too. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this all round. So I'm going to sew around the band making sure that when I'm sewing I'm getting the one inside as well. This is how smooth the band is as you can see it's stiff and well relaxed. I will go ahead now to attach my skirt hook using my hand needle. I'll use my hand needle to attach the skirt hook and hem the skirt. So to hem the skirt I'm going to turn it so with my iron I'm going to iron one and a half an inch like this After ironing the ends, I'm just going to sew it round, starting from where my slit is 
So I'm just going to hold it like this and I'm going to sew it round till I have hemmed it all. Then after hemming, this is the look. I'll add the hook 